Welcome back to the Software Development Lifecycle course. In this lecture, we're going to start wiring for our consumer listener test. So to run it, we're going to need a configuration so we can talk to the queues as well. And thankfully, we have already got a majority of it done already in our MVC config file. And again, we are going to copy and paste. So let's go up to the top here. And we will copy everything from the context component scan all the way down. And we are going to copy it into our resources folder and use our spring application config file. Okay. One thing we will not need, and that is the message listener container, so we'll get rid of that. There we go. And everything else looks good. Let's go ahead and close that out. And let's start configuring our listener test. Now as a class variable, we have text message. We're also going to use basic spring like you do a spring application and we're going to use an application context pull in that file and then set our listener to the bean or call the get bean method off the application context so let's go ahead and do that Okay, and we're going to get rid of this one because we're no longer going to instantiate it. And we're going to use our application context to inject it. So then in our setup, we're going to set our context equal to our, I believe it's XML class path application context. Well, let's give it a try. They must be application or class path XML. Let's do that one. There it is. And then our argument is our spring file, our application hyphen config file. Okay, and just like any other, now we got our context, now we can get the bean from the context. So we use context.getBean, and there it is, and we use a string, and the string is our ID. And we're going to set it equal to our listener, but we have to cast it as well. Okay. I think we're almost done with what we want to do in this lecture. Um, actually, let's go ahead and in our teardown. Let's go ahead and close our context. It usually always seems to be an issue. And we're going to cast it to a configurable application context. There we go. And we'll call it close. One of those annoying warnings you get. Okay, I think we're going to leave it off at here. 
And then the next lecture, we're going to finish this consumer listener test and run it. So, on to the next lecture.